orthopedics. And so once you just hit a flow, you just go. And then you'll kind of, things will fly out and then you'll remember, like when I remember that I missed this radial and heart, like I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna encourage you to do that during the check off. If you're in the middle of checking the strength in his hands and you realize that you didn't do Perla, it's okay to go backward, okay? Also, one of the things that usually happens is, is that we will look at you and say, are you sure you're done? Are you sure you're done? Right? And if we say that, that means guess what? You're not, okay? <laughs> forgot something. But that's the head to toe assessment. It's really not that uh, difficult. Listen, your goal is to get it done in 10 minutes. 10 minutes or less, head to toe assessment. Any questions about it? Anything not look right to you or not make sense to you? Check it. Um, at the very beginning, it has situations that you a comfortable working height, but then you have them stand. So, are we gonna lower it for them to like walk and then get back on the bed? So, yeah. And then, okay. Either that or have them stand and walk and then sit back down and then raise, and then the, raise bed. the bed. And then raise the bed to work in condition. Okay. Yeah. Paula. Can we do it in the order that you just done it? Or do we have to follow this? You can do it just like I did. Did I hit everything on the list? Yeah. You did. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do it just like I did. I don't think I was that out of order. I think I got like two or three things out of order. Um, but not too bad. Not bad for all the same. I did notice you went ahead and checked his friends with motion while, while he was in up, and that, I think that was maybe the only thing that was out of order. Okay. Can you go ahead and do that while he's in up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just the, the sheet is a good guy, okay? But if you watch my video over and over and over, and that's how you learn, it's fine, okay? Just make sure you get all your points. You need a partner. You need to be practicing. Okay? And the expectation is, is that when you go to clinical, you'll do this on your residents. And then you'll go on your patients in acute care. Right? This is what nurses do every shift, which is why your proficiency at it is important. Okay? One more volunteer. <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time, okay? At least I'm gonna do it without talking to you and do it like you're not gonna do it. Hey, how about Because I gotta volunteer. This is just in case you know they need a second look. I still got one. Okay. So I'm gonna skip all those first steps of gathering my supplies and starting gathering. Come in. Hi, my name is Felicia. I'm a student nurse for Southern Regional College. Can you take me in that direction? Actually, what makes privacy here. So I'm um, going to do, uh, I'm washing my hands because we want that task. I'm going to do a head to toe assessment because we love them on you today. You ever had a head to toe assessment done? Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look you over from your head to your toes. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, it'll be interactive at any point you're uncomfortable or you have questions while you have to say something. Okay? Good. So can you tell me where you are? Um, school. Do you know why you're here? What year is it? Um, 23, 2023. 2023. Who's broken? Bible. Good. So she's alert, oriented, times three. Well, so I'm going to start out with your uh, Bible sign. Okay. So basically, at this point, I'm going to check her blood pressure, pulse, temperature, O2 stat, uh, respiratory rate, and her pain. And once we have all that done, she's situated. Are you allergic to anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So I'm going to start out with your head, okay? Okay. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a good look at her hair. I'm looking for lesions, lumps, lice, bruises, anything abnormal, feeling for um, symmetry, all of the things. Also, we'll go ahead while I'm here. I said I was going to do like you're not in the room, but I can't. I just teach. That's what I do. Let's take a look behind her ears while I'm looking back here. Good. So can you smile for me? Good. Like Shelby Yippee? Good. Raise your eyebrows. Good. I'll touch you, okay? Almost always see 
on your chip. And this was somebody, there's a place where their eyes will always catch, but it's not going to stay. But you bring it to me, you'll take it. And just use it off. Just the lip of your ear, the palm of your ear, so don't pull an object or a serum into your wax. Just take it and lift up and back and she's going to Foreign objects, no polish, no, no, nothing will mix it off them. Awesome. Just membranes, any fingers, you can have any tissues of your cut. So, if any issues at all from your head down, you can touch your chin to your chest for me. You come back to where my hand back here. I will look all the way this way. Good. All the way this way. Can you just cover it all? I'm always into your curl eyes, okay? <coughs> What, we good? You skipped the um, skin. I didn't say the whole skin thing. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.
also so pay they for push them to help help it. Right? Those are the orders. Before I do that, though, I would just ask her, you can ask her, probably would be good for you to ask her, do you have any kind of uh, issues with your stomach at all? So I know that uh, there's symmetry here, nothing's bulging, there's no pulsating masses, nothing like that. So I'm just going to uh, take a listen. I forgot to palpate Mr. Massey's abdomen. I just listened. Right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch your uh, abdomen and you tell me if there's any discomfort, okay? And you just kind of walk across here. Anything? And watch her face because pain, you know, will show up in a grimace sometimes. Anything? It says tender palpation. I'm not going to deep palpate, but while I'm here, I'm going to palpate your bladder. Good. It's right here. Above the pubis synthesis, right where all that comes together. Right there. What's the last time you had a bowel movement? Last time. What's the last time you avoided? Anything abnormal we need to report, okay? Any, uh, in your genital area, any rashes, lumps, lesions, bruises, any discharge odor? Mm -hmm. When's your last menstrual period? Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer. <laughs> but that's the question, okay? So she's good. I've checked from here to here, all is well. I palpate her femoral pulses, right? <coughs> on, my, on her legs, I look for muscle tone, right? Hair placement, uh, warmth, uh, turgor, all those things. Can you check your range of motion, okay? Just relax. Triggers are going to be alright. Yeah. Okay. I'll palpate her popliteal pulses, posterior tibial pulses. These are kind of hard to palpate a little bit. Uh, that dorsal is not so bad. She has a capillary refill on here. Can you push against me? Just pull. Good. There you go. Still on her heels. Make sure we don't feel any breakdown back there. That's good. Turn on your side to relieve. All right, so on her backside, I look at look at her spine, make sure that everything looks good right here. All looks good and even. There's no redness, no nothing looks non-blanchable or whatever as far as breakdown. She looks good. <clears throat> so same thing down here on her foot. Just make sure that she doesn't have breakdown. Um, separate the boot of the cleft. Make sure that she doesn't have hemorrhoids or anything like that bothering her. But I don't see any skin breakdown. I see anything down here. All right, we good. So at this point, if she had IVs, catheter, any kind of equipment, oxygen, and use, I would make sure that all that uh, was working as uh, expected. Better no lock position, side rolls up times two. Uh, call out within reach, no distress note, no complaints voiced. I will continue to monitor. Do I forget anything? Mm. Good question. This is six sites when you access the loan, but you only did four. On the phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll change the paper. Okay. Because when, when I demoed it, I only demoed for four, and six sites is a little bit much. We had a whole discussion about it um, after we did head to toe checkoffs last time. Um, so I was like, yeah, I just, um, I will change that to four. Okay. I just went counting six. I'm like, yeah. what's she getting six? Just four. Well, six just puts you right, I mean, it, it's a little bit more invasive. And it, four should be sufficient. If you don't hear what you need to hear with the four, two top and two bottom, then you would just come in closer here. For the six, that's about it. Any okay. questions? Ms. Um, So if a person has like a wig or something on, do you just document that or how do you go about that? So uh, I ask them mm -hmm. um, if they have on a wig. I just say, uh, you know, sometimes they can't remove them, but if they can, I ask them to. But if they can't, then I, you can palpate through a wig as far as feeling for lumps. Uh, and abnormalities as far as symmetry, of course you can't check hair placement. So then those are questions you ask them. Okay. And so underneath your leg, do you have any hair distribution issues? You know, anything that you want to report. And then you would just document, you know, a wig, a client wearing a wig, ask about any abnormalities, verbalize, no you know, distress to the scalp or the Okay. Yeah. Gilbert. While we're going through everything, would, would we actually say what we're looking for? Like how in the scalp, would, would we yes. say that we're gonna like yes. take any like bombs, bombs, yes. like that? Yes. Anything else? 
Oh, yeah. we'll be using our own test cuts in there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, your own equipment. I won't be listening with you. I will be watching you perform the head of the assessment. So. Your own equipment. And just remember to clean them. Anything else? Feel good? You feel like you're, you got a good exposure to it? It's not really that difficult. If you record, I'm telling you, it, it moves once you, but you've got to practice. You can't wait till the day before and nail this, okay? Assess everybody in your house. Don't just do it on your partner. You know, don't assess people at Walmart because you'll probably go to jail. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what time is it? Okay, so how about we say 10.15, we'll meet at 1.55, and I'll give night. You go ahead.